Jainism and Buddhism are two ancient Indian religions that developed in Magadha Bihar region and continue to thrive in the modern times. Mahavira and Gautama Buddha are generally accepted as contemporaries circa 5th century BCE. Jainism and Buddhism share many features, terminology and ethical principles, but emphasize them differently. Both are Sramana ascetic traditions that believe it is possible to attain liberation from the cycle of rebirths and deaths through spiritual and ethical disciplines. They differ in some core doctrines such as those on asceticism, middle way versus anakantavara, and self versus no self jiva, atta, anatta. History Jains believe that their religion is ancient and eternal with 24 Trithankaras. Of the 24, the last two, Parshvanatha and Mahavira, are generally accepted as historical persons, with the 23rd Trithankara pre-dating the Buddha and the Mahavira by probably some 250 years. Buddhists believe Gautama Buddha, the historical Buddha, rediscovered the long-forgotten Dharma around the 5th century BCE, and began to teach it again. In Buddhism there were previous Buddhas, two, 27 in total as described in the Buddha Vamsa, the 14th book of the Kuttaka Nikaya. Buddhists also believe that Gautama Buddha had many previous rebirths as described in the Jataka tales. Buddhist scriptures record that during Prince Siddhartha's ascetic life before attaining enlightenment he undertook many fasts, penances and austerities, the descriptions of which are elsewhere found only in the Jain tradition. In the Majjhima Nikaya, the Buddha shares his experience. The Jain text of Kalpasutra confirms Mahavira's asceticism, whose life is a source of guidance on many of the ascetic practices in Jainism. Such asceticism has been a hallmark of mendicant life in Jainism. The Buddha tried it, but abandoned what he called the extreme ascetic methods, teaching the middle way instead. <laughs> Jainism in Buddhist texts Pali Canon The Pali Canon does not record that Mahavira and Gautama Buddha ever met, though instances of Mahavira's disciples questioning Gautama Buddha are to be found in various sutras. For instance, in the Majjhima Nikaya MN 56, Upali — one of Gautama Buddha's foremost disciples — is said to have been a disciple of the Mahavira who became a disciple of the Buddha after losing a debate with him. The Buddhists have always maintained that by the time the Buddha and Mahavira were alive, Jainism was already an entrenched faith and culture in the region. According to the Pali Canon, Gautama was aware of Mahavira's existence as well as the communities of Jain monastics. Buddhist texts refer to the Mahavira as Nigantha Junatapada. Nigantha means, without knot, tie, or string, and Junatapada, son of Natas, referred to his clan of origin Junata or Naya, Prakrit, the five vows non violence, truth, non attachment, non thieving, celibacy, chastity, propounded by the 23rd Jain Tithankara. Pasva, may have been the template for the five precepts of Buddhism. Additionally, the Buddhist Anguttaranikaya scripture quotes the independent philosopher Purana Kasapa, a 6th century BCE founder of a now extinct order, as listing the Nurgranthas as one of the six major classifications of humanity. Buddhist writings reflect that Jains had followers by the time the Buddha lived. Suggesting close correlations between the teachings of the Jains and the Buddha, the Majjhima Nikaya relates dialogues between the Buddha and several members of the Nurgrantha community. Indian Buddhist tradition categorized all non-Buddhist schools of thought as pasanda heresy. Pasanda means to throw a noose or pasha. Stemming from the doctrine that schools labeled as Pasanda foster views perceived as wrong because they are seen as having a tendency towards binding and ensnaring rather than freeing the mind. The difference between the schools of thought are outlined. <laughs> Devyavadana The ancient text Devyavadana Ashikavadana is one of its sections mention that in one instance, a non-Buddhist in Pundravadana drew a picture showing the Buddha bowing at the feet of Mahavira. On complaint from a Buddhist devotee, Ashoka, the Maurya emperor, issued an order to arrest him, and subsequently, another order to kill all the Ajivakas in Pundravadana. Around 18,000 Ajivakas were executed as a result of this order. Sometime later, another ascetic in Pataliputra drew a similar picture. Ashoka burnt him and his entire family alive in their house. He also announced an award of one dinara silver coin to anyone who brought him the head of a giant. According to Ashokavadana, as a result of this order, his own brother, Vaitashoka, was mistaken for a heretic and killed by a cowherd. Their ministers advised that, 
This is an example of the suffering that is being inflicted even on those who are free from desire, and that he should guarantee the security of all beings. After this, Ashoka stopped giving orders for executions. According to KTS Sarau and Benamadhab Barua, stories of persecutions of rival sects by Ashoka appear to be a clear fabrication arising out of sectarian propaganda. Buddhist texts in Jain libraries According to Padmanav Jaini, Vasudhara Dharani, a Buddhist work was among the Jainas of Gujarat in 1960s, and a manuscript was copied in 1638 CE. The Dharani was recited by non-Jain Brahmin priests in private Jain homes. <laughs> Shared terminology The shared terms include Sangha, Shramana, monk, Shravaka, householder in Jainism, Buddha's disciple in Buddhism, Jina, Tithankara in Jainism, Buddha in Buddhism, Chaitya, Stupa, Pudgala, Madha in Jainism, Soul in Buddhism, etc. Early Jainism used stupas, although the practice mostly, but not completely, was abandoned later. Topic: <laughs> Similarities. In Jainism, the way of liberation is the ford titha, and trithankaras those making the ford, from samsara to moksha are supreme teachers. Same concept is found in Buddhism which says that through enlightenment body, an individual crosses the river of samsara and attain liberation. Both religions deny the existence of a creator god. Buddhism and Jainish evince a shared belief in the existence of geographical regions beyond the parameters of Bharatavasha, access to which could not be gained by ordinary human beings. Karakandi, a Pratyekabuddha in both Jainism and Buddhism, is a rare personality that is shared between Jainism and Buddhism. The Jain text Isavashyam mentions Vajjayaputra, Mahakashyap, and Saraputra among the rishis. The Jain community or Jain Sangha, consists of monastics, munis (male ascetics) and ayikas (female ascetics) and householders, shravaks (laymen) and sravakas (laywomen). Buddhism has a similar organization. The community consists of renunciate bhikkhus and bhikkhunis and male and female laypersons, or sravakas and sravakas, who take limited vows. Topic. Differences Jainism has developed and refined the non-violence doctrine to an extraordinary degree where it is an integral part of the Jain culture. Jain vegetarianism, for example, is driven by the principle of not harming any animals and both lay and mendicants are predominantly vegetarian. In Buddhism, Mahayana monks in China, Japan see Shojin Ryori, Korea and Vietnam are vegetarian, however, vegetarianism is not required for lay Buddhists. In Theravada monastic tradition, a monk should eat whatever is placed in his bowl when receiving food. Although both Buddhists and Jain had orders of nuns, Buddhist Pali texts record the Buddha saying that a woman has the ability to obtain nirvana in the Dharma and Vinaya. According to Digambara Jains, women are capable of spiritual progress but must be reborn as a man in order to attain final spiritual liberation. The religious texts of the Svetambaras mention that liberation is attainable by both men and women. Jains believe in the existence of an eternal jiva, soul, whereas Buddhism denies the concept of self, jiva, or soul, atman, proposing the concept of no self, anatta. Instead, the Anakantavada doctrine is another key difference between Jainism and Buddhism. The Buddha taught the middle way, rejecting extremes of the answer "it is" or "it is not" to metaphysical questions. The Mahavira, in contrast, accepted both "it is" and it is not. With perhaps qualification and with reconciliation, Jainism discourages monks and nuns from staying in a single place for a long time, with the exception of four months in the rainy season. Thus, most of the time the Jain monks and nuns keep wandering, staying in a place for just a few days. Some Theravada Buddhist monks also observe Vasa rules, but often they stay in one monastery. See also Index of Buddhism-related articles Indian religions History of Jainism Secular Buddhism <laughs>